Alright, welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. Today we're gonna get started with Endless Explosions. A marathon and a half. I think I said this last time. I'm not sure because I was half asleep, so I apologize if I sounded bored in the last part, but eh. I was recording that at like two in the morning. But yeah, I'm trying to get this done. Yeah, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You kill yourself. Okay. But yeah, I was trying to I was recording that at two in the morning because um well, I got stuff to do this coming week. It's only been the first week of school for me, and already they're throwing a lot of crap at me. So I'm trying to get as much done as I possibly can. I don't know why I'm trying to be careful. Because, yeah. Alright. Let's go. I also figured out that there is a problem with my noise filter. Basically what that does is prevents static from being heard when recording the 3DS sound. For some reason, sound from the, the left ear is just shuts off completely, so I guess I'm going to have to get a new noise filter or something, I don't know. Because, granted, without the noise filter, it for the most part sounds fine, but... I don't know, I'll probably just get another one anyway. Because it does seem a bit staticky at times. Ooh, candy. I think there's a sunstone up here. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Alright. Yeah, because right now I just have my left earbud in to make sure the sound doesn't go out. Anyway, that was very good, Mr. Frosty. I, I believe we've seen him before. I'm not sure, because as I mentioned in previous parts, the game has a habit of throwing the deluxe enemies at you first before you see the regular variants. Well, in my case, it was like that because I'm going after every collectible. If you don't go after every collectible, then you may run into the regular versions first. Um. Okay. About to say I might have screwed myself over, but nah. Parasol, too good. Don't nerf. I believe you needed. Yeah, you needed act. If you didn't have parasol, the game probably expects you to take freeze from Mr. Frosty and just skate across those rocks because with I think I've used ice or freeze or whatever it's called in this game and when you dash Kirby has a little um, you know I'm gonna need you Kirby does a little ice game maneuver as opposed to a regular running animation and that actually freezes the floor if the floor is made out of lava If you didn't beat him down, well, it should go without saying, but he would just jump into the lava like an idiot. And you would have to... Well, you could basically just kill yourself and retry. So, not that big a deal. Okay, there's something over here. kind of want you. And rare keychain. All right. The ending is coming up somewhere. Don't need you. I have parasol. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. I was risking it there, but eh. Oh, I want him to run into my parasol. Oh well. But yeah, didn't do it too that that third blah, 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 blah. Didn't do too bad at that stage. It's only gonna get harder though. Don't. Not even worth the dance. Sorry. Pawn and con. King DDD. The guy we're trying to save. Skull Lord. Alright. On to the next level. Stage. Is what I said. Alright. 18 sunstones. Moving on up in the world. Okay. So there are four sunstones in stage. We're more than likely gonna be coming across Hypernova. Oh, you know what? For some reason, I thought I wouldn't make that. I don't think I need a spear. The reason I'm saying that is because, well, well, uh, just, just, just look at Kirby. Look at, look at what I have. Just look at that. Plus, it works underwater as well. It's just that uh, Kirby does <laughs> move up when he attacks. That's actually a negative. Considering we're in such a small space. Okay, this is actually the part where Ninja is mandatory for getting something. However, I think Parasol would work just fine. Let's see. Eh. Trying to be careful. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's a keychain. For some reason, I thought it was a sunstone. Well then, <laughs> Ninja really is useless to me then. All right. But yeah, with Ninja, when you're on the surface of water. When you're on the surface of water, he uh, Ninja will shoot water upward with a bamboo shoot. And that's really the only situation of where that's useful. I mean, maybe you can attack enemies from above on the surface of water, but... Ah, there's really no use to it. To me, anyway. Hey. Okay, go down. For that sunstone. Hey, hop out. Just keep swimming. You know, something I can't do. <clears throat> anyway. Swimming, swimming. I think there's another one up here as well for those. Oh, never mind. Never mind. All this water and a lava stage. Lol, what? This cutter. What else is there? Circus. Eh. Lucky again. Uh, screw it. Just in case. If I don't need it, I'm gonna be kicking myself in the foot. Kick myself in the foot. That's not how it goes. Oh well. Hello. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 Hmm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I should have done that. Mm. 
You know what? I think another stone is coming up. So I could have held on to. Yeah. I do need stone, though. Need to hold on to it, though. Just hold on to it. No, I don't feel like dealing with you. Uh, where. It's around here somewhere. I think it's over here. Yep. Boom. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oh, shoot. You know what? Let me exit out. And retry. Because you gotta start moving the second you walk into that room. Okay, what you wanna do is toss it. Was slow enough. I mean, slow enough. That was too slow. Whatever. Basically, you gotta maneuver your way down to you, uh, break open the floor for the bomb. Okay. That's it's too slow. There we go. Sweet. Now, the last two sunstones are right over here, actually. Got it. it takes me out of that other room automatically. Okay. Huh. Tubes. Those poor waddle dees. Always just minding their business. But they're in my way, so they gotta die. Let's see what we got here. Sweet. Okay, we're going to attack. Second star. And come here. Just like spaghetti. Anyway. And then we're here. Okay, something I haven't really mentioned before. Basically, if you see a star on an enemy or object, even that's the Q to really use Hypernova. So there are cues of what the how do I put this? There's they're basically cues on when to use Hypernova. I, sh I should have mentioned that back in like part one, but now oh well, I got it now. <laughs> you're like, you're going with me. Burn. Test them. Just one more to get. Go, 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 go. Go. Get my way. Huh, no eel. Eel. Anything up here? No. Go down. Over here. Uh, yeah, you can't actually suck in the tail. Watch. Yeah. So what you got to do is come over here. And suck him in this way. Why you can't suck him in by the tail, I don't know. But, those two whales. Sunstone, get. I think this is timed. Which is why there's another switch down here. Let's see. Yep, timed. Timing's not strict, though. So there's that. Ugh. He extends his body out long. You know what? I'm the last sunstone. Just realized that. So the ending is right around the corner. Let's see. Should be through this pipe, actually. 
Uh... Okay, about to say, there's something I can activate. Alright. <laughs> yeah, dinner. Anyway, over here, get some stars. No stars, I think. Hmm. Uh, no, there's no keychain over here. Oh well, don't know what I'm thinking of. Let's see if I can get it right this time. There we go. I think that's that should be a one, but barely. Yep, got it. Yeah. You don't, you don't even fight UFO in this game. Now I think about it. Nightmares power orb. Bang bang. I right, got one. Star man. Circuit ball. No, you don't fight him as an enemy in this game at all. Interesting. Oh, this stage. Okay, here we go. Stage three. The auto scoring level, basically. You know what? Thank you. Let's see if I get stone. Yeah, I'll get fire a shot. Jerk. Yep, I didn't mean to do that. This music sounds cryptic as all hell. <laughs> yeah, now you gotta book it. Wasn't worth it. Yeah, you can get crushed. Don't care. Food. <laughs> Giant wall. Looks like it's melting. So weird. Oh, oh. Oops. Thought I was dashing. I haven't yet to use a mic in this, but... Eh. Oh, wait, 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 Okay, let's see. Shoot over here. Over here. Oh, nothing of importance. How odd. And yeah, we just shoot at this angle. Uh, shoot up here. Don't. Okay, shoot up here. There we go. Let's get the keychain. Now just shoot up. There you go. Sunstone number one. By the way, there's only three. If I didn't catch it at the beginning of the stage. Well, yeah. That he scales back from the wild world. Walk off. What? I haven't used needle that much, or at all, really. Ugh. Yeah, let me grab it. Stand on this. Well, <laughs> my jump was way off. Hold on, let me get needle back. 
Where is it? There it is. Okay. What I need to do is look that up. Make this go all the way down. Jump. Throw this here. Nope. Throw it. Yeah. The spike you can actually stick on the walls like this. And you can also shoot him out. Yes. I think that's the majority of his abilities. Actually, let's see. Needle attack, wall stick, needle burst, mega needle. Falling spike. Yeah. Huh, I've never used these attacks actually. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh wow, these must be new. I don't remember these. <laughs> Go up here. And the final sunstone. right over here. Yep. I could have sworn there was like a keychain somewhere. Nope. Ah, well. Alright. Let's see if we can get this correctly. Nope! Burp. Let's see. Just see ya. I think that I'm saying that right. Bobo. Kabula. Okay, stage four. Let's see what we got. Is this another hypernova stage? I don't remember. Uh, excuse the chair. <laughs> no. Nah. Come here. Do it. Let's say you're gonna get hit by that eventually. All right. Hmm. Let's get spear a shot. Spear, not spear. Uh, is it worth it for the one up? Ah, why not? Might lead to something else anyway. Tch! <laughs> you jerk. Hang on, right over here. That shouldn't get gimped. gonna be mine, buddy. Just you wait. Spear? Yeah, I heard about that. Don't! Oh! You brave fool. Oh, keychain. gravity and go up here for a second. Woo! Drop it. 
electric. Get this keychain. Waiting. Now all is right. This thing is a good hit. Hmm. Well, it makes sense. He's an enemy made of steel. So I'm not really surprised. Over here. Bada bing. Sunstone number one. Okay. Go down here. Ah, uh, this. <laughs> I struggle with this, not gonna lie. So what you want to do is just stand where there are holes at, and you won't get pushed into the foreground. Unfortunately, I'm reckless, so... You'll more likely see me goof hard. It's pretty annoying when they put more enemies on these platforms, too. Hey. Yeah. Okay, I think I should be good. They also like to put these blocks that you need ice, or in my case, parasol, in order to destroy, and it's not good. I think I need an archer for something. Uh, you know what? I'll stick with Parasol. Because I like the ability. Yeah, I think Archer would have made this easier, but... Oof, shoot. <laughs> Alright, come here. Yeah, let me just get up here. Yeah, I could just done that as well, but eh. Okay, shoot up here. I think archers required for this part. Yep. Okay. Oh, now I gotta go up here. Dang it. Dang it. Eh. This angle is kind of awkward. Oh, it's not even... There we go. And sunstone number two. Go through walls. Nope. You're not Mega Man Kirby. It will be when Smash Bros. comes down. Snipey right here. Yeah. Okay, and they will occasionally put these paintings to make it look like there's a hole, but in actuality, there's no hole. Just be careful. Keychain. Let's get this. And... Try to be careful. I know this seems incredibly slow, but I just want to be extremely careful not to screw anything up. Oh, that's a rare keychain, okay. Nothing else, I hope, anyway. Yep, another hypernovic stage. What other stage? Anyway, hypernova, I should say. 
Okay, I get this boat like thing. And basically, once you activate it, it protrudes a lava drill, which can, believe it or not, drill through things. You gotta time it though, so it's, it's not as simple as just going, like right here. And don't worry, the ship can't get damaged by the lava, so you don't have to worry about being too careful. You just gotta worry about yourself. Really. Can't can't dentist. System. Go, 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 go. That is a very awkward spot. There's really not much room there. Hey, no. I don't appreciate you slowing down. Just saying. I'm going faster than the mechanism. Ooh, food. Okay. Let's see what we got. I think we got a boss coming up. Yep. Another one of these bosses. I destroy the bridge. Jerks. Come at me, bro. Uh, uh. There's one down. Now I gotta move around a bit faster. And the final one. That roar, though. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. Stuff, stuff, stuff. And sunstone. Now, how do I get out? No. How come you? Alright, let's see. Dang it! I was so distracted by me having Archer because I don't even remember getting Archer. Clean choo choo. I got her. Bandana Waddle D. Oh, he's in Superstar Ultra. Dark Mennonite. And Mark Soul. Oh. Boss Rush. Quote unquote. I say quote unquote is well you'll see. Oh, you know what? Oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to. I forgot I was dashing. I'm gonna stick with Archer, just to show off again how broken it is. I kinda did that with Coley Rattler, but eh. Let's do it again. Come on. 
There we go. That's one of the sunstones. Spark. Circus. Yep. Let's go this way now. Mr. Frosty. Wait, did he just... <laughs> okay. Be quick, because the platform will crumble. Spear, don't care. This bomb, don't care. Fighter, eh. I should make this stage a complete joke, actually. Sunstone, number three. I actually don't think it matters which doors you take, because it'll always take you to a door with a sunstone. So, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And what do we have? Okay, does it? For a certain amount of health. All right. And all sun stones collected. If you stay here too long, you'll get bombarded by enemies. None threatening, but eh, they're there. Get out of my way. And that's the end. Yeah, nothing to it. And... <laughs> My timing is getting worse, just saying. I'm actually wide awake <laughs> like last night. Gordo and Bonkers. And here we have the final boss. You need at least 10 sunstones. Nothing too drastic, though. This boss, though, ugh. We're not gonna get to him just yet, though. First, stage 7 EX. All right. Let's get these two and then we'll take on the boss, which is admittedly one of the harder ones. If only because you really need to play defensive with that boss, but more on that when we get to it. Nah. Oops. <laughs> See? Parasol can even protect you from falling debris. Volcanoes, even. It's magic. Doesn't work when you're in the boat, though. Break this open. Star. Okay, let's see. Stop that. I 
there's nothing else here. No, there's something down here. Keychain. Totally worth it. Oh. Didn't realize it was that close, actually. Okay. Try to hold on to Parasol for the entirety of this. <laughs> the game agrees. Okay, whoa. Okay, so be careful. Uh, let's wait till it. <laughs> there we go. Not a lot of breathing room in this, I noticed. Well, then again, it's an EX stage, so it makes sense. Just... Seems like they put less breathing room than usual. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. See, that's what I should have been doing. <laughs> oh yeah, this part. I don't like this part at all. <laughs> uh, this is probably gonna take me a few tries. Okay. Oh shoot! I'm gonna have to kill myself. I wasn't paying attention at all. But yeah, you need to protect him all the way to the end. And it's quite a pain, not gonna lie. Eh. Alright. Let's try it again. I completely forgot to jump over the volcano. Okay. Uh. We also need to keep ahead of him somewhat so that he doesn't uh oh that's just a keychain <sighs> I killed myself nothing <laughs> keychain okay the next one yeah there's another one the next one you have to keep alive Ugh. Height. Okay, just making sure. I gotta go fast. Oh crap! <laughs> All right. Come here. Oh, I know what's going up too. Die. Oops. Oops. Are you serious? Thank you. Eh. Close enough. Now let's go over here. There we go. Uh, I think right here is good. Dang it. There we go. So that's dumb. <laughs> that's one of them. Probably stick with Archer. Wait, does it spawn another? Okay, it does, but it, he doesn't actually attack you. All right, if it spawns me in front of the enemy. Oh, duh. Ah. Go, 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 go. 
Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Need you. Screw it. Take it. Use you. Banning. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you. Okay, I was risking it. To risk it. That's a fake. Need something over here. Guard like that. When you block, you do take damage. I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> Wasn't even worth it. Dang it. You do take slight damage, but nowhere near as much as you would have. Okay. Teleport. Teleport. He's been in a while. Grand Willy Deluxe. Watch out for this one. Oh, I forgot about the bolts. I've never seen him dash back and forth like that. He always. He usually just dashes to one side and crashes. That's interesting. Just cuz. Hmm. Keep that in mind when I do the boss rush again. Spoiler warning. <clears throat> anyway. Now that you have all the sunstones, all that's left is the boss. The extremely defensive boss. Defensive on my part, that is. You'll see momentarily. Oh, finally. Last possible chance, too. <laughs> Bugsy. I think he gives you throw. And Yinyar. Kirby's up yarn. Waddle do ball. <laughs> that sounds funny. Alright. 
50 minutes. There's gonna be like little to no editing in this part too. Anyway, stage six. Okay, jump cut. Uh, I swear, something happens every time I start a boss. It's weird. But yeah, I got called into work. So I was like, eh, any hours. Uh, what was I saying eight hours ago? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, I was saying something about ice being probably the defensive one. And fighter and bomb generally being used by most people I've seen when playing this game. So I'm going to show y'all how to beat him with ice. Yeah, he just has a rock thrown at him. It's just like, eh. But anyway, Pirate it. Probably the most difficult boss of the standard five. The right, reason I say standard five is, well, you'll see next part. But he definitely gave me the most trouble out of any of them. Uh, because, well, he's definitely got more power than the others, and his attacks just have so much range. Okay, Try to be careful. But anyway, your freeze. Barrier or freeze guard? I can't remember. It can damage your opponents like that. So, and also, it's kind of like Bell in a sense, in that you won't take damage from most attacks, but you can get pushed around, so you need to be careful. I already got him down to half health. Yeah. This boss, this is where the bosses start getting cinematic. Well, for the most part, all the bosses have been cinematic in some way or form. But the player is still involved instead of them just, you know, powering up or some crap like that. Which I think Kirby Travilla looks did better than Return to Dreamland. Because I felt a lot of the attacks were just standing there waiting for them to do something. But now here you're actually dodging. And actually doing stuff. No. Don't, I missed. <laughs> ah well, don't really need it. Okay, just stand here, just freeze it. Go. Okay, get out of the way, because that's gonna hurt. You know what I'm saying? Admittedly, I would have been done by now if I used another ability, but I just wanna show the ice some love. You know why? Because I like it. Anyway, let's open up the final island. Alright, so in the next part, we will get started with Royal Road, the final island, but not the final part. You'll see why. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care.